It's been an hour. What the fuck you doing? Yo, I'm taking a shit. Leave me alone. Yo, what are you doing, man? Oh, shit. You're playing PS4? Yes. Can you show me how to do it? Get the fuck out and I'll show you. Okay, so first thing you want to do is to go into your settings on your Android phone or tablet. Then uh, you're going to look for lock screen and security. On others, it might just be security or, you know, uh, every phone's different, but uh, I'm on a Note 5. But you're going to look for unknown sources in there, and you're going to check it for on. It's going to say a bunch of... <coughs> crap like uh you know harmful to your device blah 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 just hit okay it's fine nothing's gonna happen um once you do that okay once you do that you're gonna go to uh forms.xda uh slash dev or developer i'll put the link in the description and uh basically when you're on here check the description for the link because it will be in there don't ask me because i'm not gonna I'm not going to comment on where the link is. It's in the description. Now, uh, when you, you're going to scroll down. If you want to use your controller or you have you know a gamepad or something, make sure to get the invisible touch buttons. If you want to use touchscreen controls, which I don't know who would want to, you know, you click the, uh, the first one. So you click the one with the invisible buttons. It's going to take you to Mediafire. If you click on the second link, uh, you know, hit download. I've already done it. Yes. Do you want to? It re will replace the file. When you slide it down, you're going to see it's starting to download. I'll get back with you when it's done downloading. Okay, so it's done downloading. Uh, you're going to click it. Now, as long as you hit check unknown sources, it'll install just fine. You won't get any sort of uh, error message or anything. Um, hit install. It'll install. You go ahead and open it up. Okay, now when you open it, it's going to give you this. Uh, you can use a DualShock 4 wireless controller. I don't do this personally. If you want to try to figure out how to do it, you can. Uh, just hit skip. I'll show you how to use a controller. You're going to have to create a second account. Uh, you know, it could just be a dummy account. But you're going to need to sign in with that dummy account on here. So I'll do it for you. I'll show you guys. It's going to take you. Although it's signing in. Cancel. Next. Hit skip. Okay, it's going to take you to a screen I'm not showing you. It, before this... It should take you to a screen. It's going to ask you to sign in. Sign in with the account that doesn't have your games on it. On the account you don't want to play your games on. You know, a dummy account. Sign in with your email and your password. And then you're going to come here. And now we're going to go on the PS4. And I'll show you where to get this code at. Okay, so now that we're on our PS4, we're going to go over on our PS4 on our dummy account. Make sure you're on the dummy account that you that you don't care. You know, you don't care. You don't want to play games on. You're going to go to settings. You're going to go down to remote play connection settings. You're going to go to add device. Everyone, Everyone's code is going to be different. Uh, you're going to enter that right here. Two, or no, seven six two zero one four or one oh four seven okay register it's gonna do its thing it's gonna connect see now you have your controls right here but if you turn it sideways they're invisible no controls you have your PlayStation button and you have your touchpad up here okay but we use, bam, our PS4 uh, controller, right? Right now it's off, okay? Now this is the whole point of the dummy, uh, you know, the dummy account. When you go to sign in, you sign in with your actual account, okay? And as you can see, we're still 
you know, see? And now it allows you to use the controller. And we're on, on remote play, we're logged in to our dummy account, but it's actually showing up as this account. It's confusing, but if you follow the video, you'll get, you know, you get through with it. Um, and yeah, now we could just go to Rocket Play just to show you guys real quick. And I'll have both videos playing simultaneously, the one from the phone and the one from the PS, uh, PS4, and you guys could kind of see the uh, the quality and everything and lag input. Now, if you go into the settings before you sign in, you could actually change the quality uh, on the Remote Play app. If you know, if you turn it down, if you're not getting good uh, frame rates and all that, or you could turn up the frame rate uh, if you have good enough connection and all that. So I'm just gonna go in here. I'm not gonna play an online one because I'm trying to hurry up with this video. But um, <clears throat> works with any game. I wouldn't suggest playing like Black Ops 3 or something. But for Rocket League, works just fine. All right. We just go. Bam. I don't know why there's not another person. Oh, you know why? It's just me and myself. <laughs> but um, I'll just drive around one more time for a quick second. Play this. I mean, there's literally like. You know, there's really no lag or anything. I mean, it's a slight delay, but not bad at all. So, I mean, there it is. If you enjoyed the video, remember to schmiggity smack that like button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe for more top-notch gameplays and tutorials. And I'll catch y'all next time.